The Columbus Cotton Owls squeaked into the playoffs this year as the sixth and final seed in the SPHL. They needed every break along the way. Friday, the Snakes traveled to Knoxville to take on the top-seeded Ice Bears. My record isn't that great. We did sneak in. Um, so hopefully uh, Knoxville will feel a little bit overconfident uh, and uh, we can uh, sneak up on them and, and uh, take a couple games from them. We just got to work hard. Um, you, when you, especially going to another team's barn, you just got to work harder than that team and you got to try to use what you know to your advantage. Last year, the Cotton Mouse won the Commissioner's Cup and entered the playoffs as the first seed, but lost in the first round. This year, they entered the playoffs as the sixth seed, and they say that's exactly where they want to be. Well, I know the guys from last year really have a bitter taste in their mouths from finishing first last year and getting taken out in the first round. So, you know, coming into the six seeds, we're, you know, uh, an underdog, so to speak. So we're out there. We're just going to do what we can and hopefully knock off the, the big guys up top. If the Snakes can win in the first round against Knoxville, they will get a bye to the SPHL's championship series. I'm real happy playing Knoxville. It's like the same, uh, same thing that we had uh, you know, three, four years ago, we won the whole thing. We had Knoxville in the first round. I like our chances. We might as well finish first because uh, now we win this, we're in the final. Considering the Snakes won the title in 2005 as the fifth seed, fans shouldn't worry. The team feels very comfortable and has been successful playing the role of underdogs before. Bethany Colbreth, WTVM, Sports Leader 9.